Right, hi guys, welcome to the video, I'm the Grey Gardener. Um, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about how I got into, well, how I set my garden business up. I've had a few people ask us the questions. Uh, I am going to go a little bit deeper uh, in future videos and um, look at uh, the tools and things and uh, the, minimum, the minimum requirements um, in terms of setting a business up. But this is just a video about my story, so if you're a gardener and you've been going, it might be just uh, interesting uh, to hear another story. Uh, and also to be a little bit nosy, uh, I quite enjoy just listening to other people, how they started up and stuff. Um, but I guess this is geared more towards people who are um, in a position where they might want to take the plunge and uh, set up their own business. So obviously uh, if that's you then uh, stick around and uh, any questions you have put them in the comments. So my previous job uh, I was working as a courier. Uh, the job before that I was working as um, an estate agent on uh, the letting side of things so I was looking after landlords properties um, and then I became a courier and so I was clinically vulnerable so during lockdown I was off work uh, for ages obviously like loads of other people and uh, I think like a lot of people as well uh, you just kind of reset and have a bit of a rethink and I wasn't really enjoying um, courier work and stuff and uh, I'd been doing friends and family's gardens for years and I grow my own veg anyway, I've been doing that for about 15 years uh, and I love being outside and um, I'm really sort of interested in gardening and stuff like that and I thought well why not um, give it a go and um, see what happens obviously well not obviously because you might not know but um, it's took off uh, gone really well so what did I do what did I actually do to set it up so uh, first things first was uh, the tools, so I uh, decided to go second hand in some gear, some of the machinery or tools, whatever you want to call them, and I decided to go brand new on some of the others. Reason being because obviously you don't know whether it's going to work out, I didn't want to go and spend thousands straight away not to get any customers. Um, I really think you will get customers mind. Now I'll, I'll tell you my story here, but I'm pretty sure if you've got sort of you know, a, a good pleasant way about you if you're hard work and if you've got a, you know, basic knowledge, I'm still building up my knowledge. Uh, if you know you're going to do a good job, you're thorough, um, you're pleasant, you know, you will get work. So, there we are. Um, so, my lawnmower was second hand. I've got some videos on here, loads of comments saying you need to get a better mower. Um, yeah, definitely will for next year. Uh, I paid £60 though for mine and haven't had a problem with it. It's seen us through. Uh, the year, uh, um, absolutely fantastic, but uh, I want to get a better one. So £60 a pair for the lawnmower. Strimmer, I used a multi-tool, the Hyundai multi-tool, uh, really good strimmer on that, so it's the brush cutter and the strimmer. Uh, that's primarily what I use, I do have a spare. I know everyone uses the steels and things like that, and uh, I do want to get one of those eventually, but I haven't had any problems with, with this Hyundai. And as I say, it's a multi-tool, so uh, it's, it's obviously it's got the hedge trimmer and things like that as well which I use as spares um, my hedge trimmer I use I've got an HLA 56 steel battery one and I'm going to do a video on that that's proved to be really good um, leaf blower come vacuum that was brand new steel as well I waited a few months to get that though and I wish I'd just got it straight away because my god what a time saver anyway um, so that was the trimmer the hedge trimmer the lawnmower the leaf blower, and then it's just your general kind of, you know, your secateurs, your loppers, your um, pruning gear, just whatever gardening stuff you, you're doing as a business, you know, um, just sort of as you go along, invest in more kit and stuff like that, you know. Uh, so that's what I did in terms of uh, my gear, and I, as I say, I'll have a, an extended sort of version of that if you like, and I'll be showing you the, the stuff. And then advertising, so I just well, I'll be, by the time this is out, I'll probably have a video out on advertising, but I'll quickly tell you my story on how I did that. So, I went to Vistaprint, I spent £80 on uh, some leaflets and some business cards. Waste of time, I'd advise to get business cards though. I have given a few of those out. The leaflets, they're there, they're still in the house. Uh, I can use them, so, you know, if, if I do need to start handing stuff out, that's fine. But... I created a social media page on Facebook and the Next Door Neighbour app, which is a fantastic little app, so check that out. It's more localised to areas and um, 
you can put posts out to different locations, obviously where you're going to be doing your gardening. So it's, it's specified, it's, it's good. Uh, it's, didn't pay for any of that. It's obviously Facebook page, get as many friends and family to share it. And I did that in April. So the gardens are starting to spring to life. People are starting to uh, think about them more importantly. Um, so time of year is key. Obviously you don't want to be starting in the winter, you're going to get no work or very little work. So March, April time is probably the best time to start. Um, that's what I did and literally the phone and the messages never stopped. I'd say after the first couple of weeks, two, three weeks, I probably had about 10 regulars and then I just built it up from there. I was getting one off work and it was straight in. Um, so yeah, a bit of an eye opener. Uh, get your diary, that's absolute. That's the, what would you call it? Um, the, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but you need one, get one. So important, obviously. Um, and yeah, I've just never looked back. Obviously I'm progressing, I'm doing jet washing over the winter just to try and keep it ticking over and things and uh, going into the next year, um, I'll, I'll be doing uh, more jet washing and things, uh, just branching out a little bit. So really happy with how it's going. Let me know your story. How long have you been going for? Um, have you? Are you thinking about getting into gardening? Uh, let us know in the comments as well what's potentially stopping you. Any concerns or anything? I'll be more than happy to answer those questions because obviously I had a lot of concerns in the beginning. It's more so just thinking, you know, am I going to get the work? Um, you will get work though, you really will, honestly. Um, mention, uh, mention, just pop all that in the comments, ask us any questions you want. Um, it would be really nice to go through them and uh, see what you guys are up to so I'll leave that one there uh, massive thanks, thanks for watching don't forget to hit, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video cheers, bye